Hey OHS, Mr. Buchanan here. Want to go through some basketball shooting skills and three games that you can do in your driveway, some shooting games my daughters and I love to do. Uh, one would be kind of a numbered spot game where we take different pieces of chalk and we do different circles around the driveway. Number two would be like an NBA shooting game where it could be like an NBA two ball or one ball depending if it's just you or if you have some family members joining you. And the third one is kind of like a modified four square game. It looks like a basketball key where you can take random shots. Today I'm going to be using a basketball, but you can also use a mini basketball, volleyball, soccer ball, any ball that you have at home as well. In the past we used to use a mini basketball net. Then our lovely neighbors donated this bet that we could use during uh, this time at home. Also we have garbage can. You want to make sure you put a garbage bag in the garbage can because you know, oh, you don't want to have kind of a messy ball when you're trying to shoot. And also recycling is really important, but any sort of bin would work as well. Some of the shots today I'm going to be taking uh, using a chair for those individuals that need a little bit of assistance and also I'm going to show you some of the shots and techniques that I like to do. Here we go. All right, let's talk the key points of the basketball shot. Number one, you want to get in the ready position. I want to bend my knees. I'm right side dominant, so I'm going to put my right foot out slightly. With my knees bent, it gives me that spring action. That spring action gives me that power in my shot that allows that ball to cover some distance. With those knees bent though, I want to get my right side elbow kind of tucked in towards my chest. If I put it out, I'm going to tend to release that ball on almost like a line drive or a straight shot. I want to kind of tick that elbow in, and as I'm bringing it up, I want to release it. I almost want to put that hand in the cookie jar. I want to have that follow through. My non-dominant hand is also very important for my aiming. So as I bring the ball in, I want to put that on the side, and as I'm going up, I want to release. I want to release that ball going right on through. Here's a couple demos. I'm in a sitting position and I'm also in a standing position. Let's check them out. So this is a fun game that my daughters and I play all the time. We call it numbered spots. We've taken some chalk. We've put uh, numbers 1 through 16 all over the driveway. Right now I'm standing in, in number 3 and I get ready to take my shot. If I get it in, I look for number 4. Oh, there it is. And I keep on going. If I miss my shot, then I just go back to the spot. If I'm playing with more people, I take my turn, then I alternate. Someone else will take their shot wherever they are on the numbers. And then if I get up to 16, then we always have a bonus shot to see who's going to win. That bonus shot you can pick any random spot from number 1 to 16. Really fun. We play it all the time, morning, noon, and night. So this is a game I like to call two ball or solo ball, depending if you have a family member with you or if you're just playing by yourself. I've kind of taken some chalk and made a makeshift basketball key. And in this game, you have 60 seconds. There's a countdown and you're trying to take shots from the various circles. And each circle, whether you're closer to the net, in the middle, or even to the outsides, has a number value. So as I start, I'm gonna shoot from whatever circle, and as I'm going and I sink the baskets, I'm gonna start adding up my score. If I'm in close, it's worth two, kinda of towards the middle in front of the net's three. Let's call it the makeshift foul line's five. I have a seven off to the side, and of course, going to the long shots, we have eight points. So kind of a solo ball if you're by yourself, or a two ball if you're with a family member. Lots of fun. If you're looking for the music, this used to be an old NBA two ball type of game. If you Google it and go on sound, soundcloud.com, you can get the uh, music for it, and sounds like this. Get ready to play Gatorade NBA two ball. Five, four, three, two, one, go. This game I like to call around the world. It kind of takes a, a basketball key type image. We've taken a four square type box and you start in close. You decide if you want to start on the box here. You can move anywhere within the box to take your shot. If you score, then you can move back to the second box. When you score here, moving over to the third and finally on your final shot, you're now going to exit the box, but then you have five outside of the key type shots, but you'd have to shoot right from the circle one spot, two, going all the way around the key. This kind of looks like a foul shot. Out towards the curb, towards the sidewalk. 
and so on. So you can start in any direction, but then we go from inside the box to going on the outside. Lots of fun, and uh, you can count up points, take your time, you can alternate between partners, that's up to you. Hope you found these three games beneficial, OHS, and those basketball shooting techniques. Keep practicing, stay active, stay safe, stay at home, but have some fun as you're doing it. Remember the NBA 2 ball? Go on to soundcloud.com if you want to get the audio for it to kind of add a little pizzazz to your game. And also, one last thing, OHS.